in this video we will be doing activity based analysis and uh, it is better if you watch the earlier video that is on event based analysis before watching this because we are going to use these data uh, on all these nodes we have already found the earliest time and it is time and uh, you have this activity on arrow network diagram and you have the activity symbol written over the activity arrows and uh, the activity time written below the arrow that is g takes 30 days time h takes 20 days time and uh, we have used all these data to find the earliest time and latest time on every node as you can see on node 6 there are two numbers written 50 and 58 so 50 is the earliest time and 58 is the latest time the concept has been discussed in the previous video uh, earliest time is you can't be on that node before 50 days or this earliest time and uh, latest time is if you don't be on that node latest by that then the project will be getting delayed so for node 6 latest by 58 days you must be there otherwise the project will be getting delayed so you have earliest time and latest time for all the nodes now here we are going to do activity based analysis where for different activities we will be finding out what is the earliest and latest times but since for activity there will be a start and finish also that is for events we were not having a start or finish the event was happening just at some time moment so we had earliest time and latest time but for activity since they will start and end so we will have earliest start time, earliest finish time, latest start time and latest finish time. We will be doing all these four types of calculations for uh, different activities. So let us do this for uh, few activities here. Uh, we will be writing the activity, say we do it for activity A. The earliest start time that indicates the earliest time at which the activity can be started so obviously you will be looking at the node where that activity starts so activity A starts at node 1 and the earliest time for that is 0 so you can start activity A right in the beginning so earliest start time for the activity A is 0 then uh, earliest finish time if you start the activity at time 0 and activity A requires uh, 35 days time so and since you give the sufficient time to various activities so 35 days are given and uh, so 0 plus 35 earliest you can finish this activity in after 35 days similarly if we have to talk about latest start and latest finish time as you can see here that uh, activity A ends on node 4 and for that the latest time is 38 and uh, you know very well that latest time is such time by which you must be on node otherwise the project will be getting delayed so right now you can see that if even if the activity A continues up to 38 days still the project will not be uh, getting delayed it means the latest finish time because node 4 talks about the end of uh, activity A so latest finish time for activity A will be 38 you are taking the latest time at of the node where the activity is ending so latest finish time for activity A is 38 and to find the latest start time obviously since we are maintaining that policy that uh, activity time will not be reduced so since you are giving 35 days and uh, it can be finished by 38 days so 38 minus 35 the latest you should start this activity by uh, after 3 days so that is how you calculate the earliest start time 
earliest finish time let us start time and let us finish time of various activities so if you do for activity b say here if i am writing for b uh, for earliest start time we will be seeing the node where the activity is starting so node where activity b is starting is 1 so the earliest start time for b will be 0 then to find earliest finish time you will be adding activity time on earliest start time because start time plus activity time will give you the finish time so since b is having 23 days activity time so you add that to earliest start time you get earliest finish time as 23 then uh, uh, the next is you find the latest finish time so for b as it is ending on node 3 you find that uh, the latest time for this is 23 so you can't go beyond that so activity b must be finished latest by 23 and to get the start date you have to subtract the activity time so latest time or finish time is 23 minus activity time that is 23 so you must start latest by 0 so here the earliest start time and latest start time both are same same way for activity C if we do similarly we will check where it is starting it starts at node 1 earliest time of that is 0 to get the earliest finish time on the earliest start time we add activity time so 0 plus 15 so that is the earliest finish time for C then we will take the latest finish time so latest finish time since C ends on node 2 where the latest time is 26 so we must be finishing C latest by 26 so that is the latest finish time for C and uh, from here if we subtract the activity time that is 26 minus 15 so latest by 11 days we must be starting that you may notice here that for activity A the earliest time is 0 and latest time latest start time is 3 and earliest start time is 0 for B earliest start time is 0 and latest start time is also 0 and for and you notice that B is on the critical path and for activity C you have earliest start time as 0 and latest start time as 11 so suppose in the beginning uh, though you can start activity A B and C but suppose there is resource problem and you can't start all the three you can start either A or B or C only then uh, you can very well uh, know from here that uh, you should give priority to B because here earliest start time and uh, uh, latest start time both are same uh, you have to start B right in the beginning a even if you start after three days because the latest start time is three your project still can be completed in time similarly for C even if you start it after 11 days then too the project can be completed in time so that is a very uh, important insight into the activities sometimes uh, people feel that uh, since a takes 35 days and b 23 and c 15 and so a is taking very high so one should give priority to a but you can very well observe that a is not in the on the critical path so even uh, if you give priority to a and say if you delay b then uh, your project will not be getting over in time now we do it for activity D to find out earliest start time you have to check where the activity is starting so this activity D starts at node 4 so earliest time of node 4 will give you the earliest start time since on node 4 you can't reach before 35 days so obviously you can't start D before 35 so earliest start time for node for activity D is 35 to get earliest finish time you will be adding the activity time because you require 15 days so 35 plus 15 that gives you 50 that is the earliest finish time then 
to find the latest finish time you have to see where this activity is ending so activity d is ending on node 6 where the latest time is 58 that is you must be on node 6 by 58 days so even if you finish activity d by 58 it is okay the project will be on track so let us finish time for activity d is 58 then to get the latest start time you must subtract the activity time from the latest finish time so we will be subtracting from this 58 the activity time of d that is 15 so 58 minus 15 is 43 so you get the the four times for d like this similarly if we do for e you can see here the earliest time for e will be taken from node 4 that is 35 then earliest finish time will be 35 plus 10 which is the activity time then uh, that is 45 and then the latest finish time will be taken from node where it is ending and that is 48 and 48 minus 10 that gives us the latest start time for activity E similarly for uh, F you do then for F the earliest time will be 23 taken from node 3 then activity time is uh, 25 so 23 plus 25 gives us uh, uh, 48 and then the latest uh, time will be taken from here so it gives 48 and uh, then the earliest finish time will be uh, or the latest start time will be 48 minus or this 48 minus 25 so that is 23 this is how we keep on calculating for all the activities and uh, then you can very well observe that uh, for activity uh, F here you are again seeing that earliest start time and latest start time are same or same way earliest finish time and latest finish time are same so here you don't have any extra time in hand while for activity D and E you can see that earliest start time is 35-35 but, uh, but the latest start time is 43 and 38 for D you have 8 days extra for a start and similarly for E you have 3 days extra for a start which is not there for F and you can very well observe that F is the critical activity is lying on the critical path so for all the critical activities you will notice that the earliest start time and latest start time will be same similarly earliest finish time and latest finish time will be same while and um, for other activities which are non-critical there will be some time in hand which is called float we will discuss about that So all these uh, time like earliest start time, earliest finish time, latest start time and latest finish time for remaining activities have been calculated and uh, they are put in this table and uh, here if you observe uh, there are few activities where earliest and latest are same whether you take a start or finish that is say for activity uh, B you have uh, here earliest start 0 and latest start 0 so activity B uh, is on the critical path similarly if you take uh, uh, say activity C is having uh, earliest and latest different same way for D it is different for E 35 and 38 different but for F you find that uh, the earliest time and uh, latest time latest start time both are same so F also is on critical path similarly if you keep checking for uh, G you have earliest uh, 48 and uh, latest start 48 so G2 will be on critical path because you just don't have extra time in hand for rest of the activities say for H it is 50 and 58 so different 
say for uh, i also 23 and 28 so they are different for similarly you check for all and you notice that these three activities that is b f and g have uh, earliest start time and uh, latest start time same or similarly earliest finish time and latest finish time same so they are critical activities they are on critical path you can observe the same here b e or b f and g these activities are on the critical path so uh, we have seen the activity based analysis here and uh, uh, next uh, we will be computing uh, different types of uh, floats and um, even slack so we'll get the idea about that in the next video